What's up everybody, BC here. This is gonna be another real estate video. I get a lot of questions and I've gotten them a lot recently regarding personality types and how to deal with them, okay? That's something that I have studied a lot. I come across it day to day and I've really learned how to speak their language, which I can explain later in the video. That makes my interactions with customers so much easier and secondly, makes you much more versatile so you can get more business, which is what we're all here for, right? So one of the main questions I get is how do you, in your listing presentation, shorten or lengthen certain parts to adopt a personality type, right? For example, I'm a driver and I'm, I make quick decisions and I speak quickly. So if I come across somebody trying to sell me something who speaks slow or doesn't recognize that I move fast, it turns me off, right? So let's say I'm meeting with somebody who's a driver like me normally uh, because I still use Kevin Ward's listing presentation, so I'll give him a quick shout out. You start and you say, you know, I have three bottom line questions for you. You ready? Number one, are you definitely ready to sell this property? If it's a driver, I'll say, great, I have three questions for you, John. You ready? Are you ready to sell this property? Now, what I did was I trimmed a few words off of it, but I'm still saying the same thing, right? You can give more examples. However, what you want to do is you still want to have the element, the core, the base of what your presentation is. You just want to trim the fat if it's somebody who speaks quicker. If not, you're going to start hearing things like, get to the point, hurry up, you're moving too slow for me, man. Right? So, next thing. I'm just trying to think of more, more areas where you can cut it off. But the, the main point of this is you don't want to lose the substance to your presentation. I want, I want to make that very, very clear. A lot of people think, okay, well, if it's a driver and expressive and I have to speak quickly, I'm just going to not say certain parts. No, you still want to say it. You just want to say it faster and you want to trim the extra words that you might have to use with uh, an amiable or an analytical, right? Like if a driver was to ask me how long is it going to take to sell a house, I'll say 30 days or less. If it's uh, analytical, I'm going to say, well, the current uh, days on market right now in your area is about 96. However, based on what the market is telling us now, and if we price your property at 500000 I predict we're going to sell a house anywhere from 14 to 20 days. See what I mean? Driver was real quick, 30 days or less. Analytical, I gave a little bit more numbers and then gave them, okay, between 14 and 20 days. You see what I mean? Now, I don't want to make the video too long and go into too many explanations, but that's basically how you do it, right? I can make separate videos later for it. However, just for the sake of time, I wanted to explain it quickly. Remember, you want to speak their language, however, you don't want to lose the substance of what you're speaking about. Because if you start taking too much stuff away or trimming too many words away, then you lose the power of your presentation or your script or whatever it is. You just have to make small, minor tweaks and changes here and there to adopt to that person. Okay? That's it for this video, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this with somebody who you know needs to hear this. Okay? See you guys on the next one.